Dear Mom, I'm sorry I used your credit card to buy all that real quick. And I'm sorry about the tree. But I think it will be better if I live up here from now on. I'm sad that it's come to this, but there's just no way I can live down there. Not with mm. him. Mm. Not with Eric. Hey, you squirt! Or his little brats. Hey, you squirt! Hey, you squirt! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> You know, Penelope, Eric and the kids grew these veggies themselves. Isn't that cool? I thought we'd start a garden here. How's that sound? Grow some carrots or something? Do some weeding? I miss linguinos. It was great when it was just the two of us. Things were fine. But they had to come and ruin everything. People where you live grow 5,000 roses in one garden. And they don't find what they're looking for. They don't find I guess you have a new family now. Have fun with that. Best wishes, your daughter, Penelope. Dear Mom, please do not send rescue. I have plenty of food and plenty to do. I even keep up with my brushing, so don't even worry about it. It's super comfy up here, and this is just where I live now, and I'm fine with that. The truth is, being alone is the best birthday present a girl could ever ask for. So call off the airplanes or helicopters or whatever. All good here. Penelope. in front of 
the tree right now, which has been made enormous due to the use of the now infamous gene-targeting plant food, GrowQuick. As you can see, the tree is now many thousands of feet tall. It is impossible to climb and unreachable by helicopter or hot air balloon. We just have to hope that she's okay up there, all alone. Mrs. McDowell, if you could say anything to Penelope right now, what would that be? I would say be safe, and we love you, and we want you back to our family. Mom. Hey, Mom, can you hear me? Mom. Mom, are you there? Penelope, we can't wait to grow a garden with you. So happy to be a part of your family. Love, Eric.
is served. Dear Eric, thanks for the present. Turns out, veggies are growing on me. Love, Penelope.